natural resources vegetation since goa lies on the west coast and receives rain from the southwest monsoon winds hence many areas are covered with the forest in this forest there are deciduous and evergreen trees they are of hardwood mangroves are found along most of the river banks like that of the river juari and river mandavi crops goa has two cropping seasons one is kharif season and the second one is rabi season similarly they have kharif crops and rabi crops kharif crops are grown during the rainy season and rabi crops are grown after the rainy season kharif crops are grown during the rainy season the main crops grown are rice natne and bari rabi crops are grown after the rainy season the main crops of rabi season are rice chauri hasunde chilies onions groundnuts etc kumeri cultivation it is also called shifting cultivation this type of cultivation is done by the backward tribes of goa such as the dhangas and velips these people live on the hill slopes in forest areas year after year they cut trees or burn small areas of forest to grow crops they grow crops like natne millets and pulses in goa we have plantation crops of coconut cajus kaju what we call in our local language mango ame arka palm means bede kokum sugarcane means us and trappo etc flowers in goa we find variety of flowers like kurtafem aura abolim dayo mogri buitafem etc natural resources minerals when rocks contain minerals we call them ores when we dig for this ores we call it mining mining is an important industry in goa and one of the biggest mines of goa are iron ore and manganese ore these ores are found in the hilly regions to the east and the central plateau areas mining in goa has also become a very polluted part in goa bauxite aluminum is got from an ore called bauxite there are many bauxite mines near betul osnara etc in these areas there are many bauxite found aluminum is got from this ore called bauxite natural resources 
sea wealth the sea coast of goa is shallow it has plenty of fish the important fish found in goa are mackerel what we call in konkani is bangdo sardin it is tallo talle kingfish means this one shark means mori ladyfish means muddashi crabs means kullu prawns means sungta cockles means tisriyu and mussels means shinanyo other than this there are many fishes in goa goa has many rivers and creeks fishing is also carried out in the rivers and creeks creeks in goa are famous for prawn fishing sometimes river water enters low lying lands these lands are called khajans in goa they are useful for agriculture fishing and used as salt pens from which salt is obtained you can see many salt pens on the banks of river mandavi here is some pictures of the salt pens the water is collected in this type of pens and then the water is evaporated and the salty water remains in this pens this work is done only in summer from the month of march till end of may as it is the summer season the climate is hot and the water evaporates very fast we find salt pens in talukas of penneb bardes tiswadi and salset sand in goa sand is obtained from kolwale bardej desu pernem guleli uzgao in ponda etc this sand is used in the construction of houses buildings etc natural resources animals wild animals goa has many wild animals but their number is decreasing day by day the government of goa wants to prevent animals from being killed so certain areas in this forest are reserved for these animals such places where the places are reserved for the animals are called wildlife sanctuaries in goa we have one national park at molem one bird sanctuary at chorao and five wildlife sanctuaries the largest is the bhagwan mahavir sanctuary the others are at bondla wildlife sanctuary the kotigao wildlife sanctuary the mahadevi sanctuary and the netravari sanctuary the animals found in the forest of goa are wild boars randukar deer means haran tigers wag indian bison gavaredo mungus wild dog deu kolo जंगल कैट बिल मोजोर पॉकुपाइन मीन साल एक्सेट्रा बर्ड्स 
गोवा हेज अ वरायटी ऑफ बर्ड्स एट चोराव इन तिसवाड़ी तालुका वी हैव अ बर्ड सेंचुरी दीस सेंचुरी इज कॉल्ड डॉक्टर सलीम अली बर्ड सेंचुरी डॉक्टर सलीम अली वॉज अ फेमस ऑर्थिनोलॉजिस्ट हु हैड डन मच स्टडी ऑन बर्ड्स ऑर्थिनोलॉजिस्ट मीन्स द पर्सन हु स्टडीज ऑफ द बर्ड्स reptiles any cold blooded scaly animal like snakes lizard crocodiles turtles etc are called reptiles goa has many types of snakes crocodiles are found in the mangroves of kumarzua between october and december turtles means kaso what we call it in in, in konkani from the sea come to lay their eggs on several beaches for example morjem beach and kalangut beach here you can see the pictures of the turtles coming on the morjem beach human resources this is the last part of this chapter goa lies near the sea and receives heavy rainfall so agriculture and fishing are the main occupations the other occupations include tudi tapping mining kitchen gardening horticulture and lumbering good habits rice curry and fish is the main food of the people in goa people often eat sheath human and fish people also eat other food grains vegetables and various other food stuff people of goa mostly like spicy food and people are more happy eating the fish shelter most people live in villages their houses are built of mud or laterite stone laterite stone means chire and have a sloping roofs these roofs are thatched or covered with tiles almost every village has electricity supply i would say all the villages in goa mostly have electricity supply in towns and cities there are multi stored buildings these buildings have a number of flats people live in these flats and get water supply through pipelines i hope you have understood this lesson thank you